I think only Tata Motors could have pulled off such a bold color on an SUV in the segment. The new Harrier looks wow, right? However, it's not just the color option offered, but extra add-ons and changes done to the Harrier to make it more funkier now. Is it? Let's find out. जो दिखता है वो बिकता है इट इज अ फैक्ट इन द इंडियन मार्केट टाटा मोटर्स अंडरस्टैंड दैट एंड द फोल फ्रंट एंड द रियर ऑफ द न्यू हैरियर इज बेसिकली न्यू दिस इज द पार्ट आई वॉन्ट टॉक टू यू अबाउट दिस इज अ डिस्टिंग्विशन फैक्टर बिटवीन दिस एंड द सफारी इन द सफारी यू गेट दीज इंसर्ट एज पर दॉडी कलर सो इट्स अ वाइट सफारी दीज विल बी वाइट इन द केस ऑफ द हैरियर दे रिमेन सिल्वर एंड इट्स अ मोर स्लिमर वर्जन फॉर द एयर इन टेक फॉर द इंजन यू हैव दिस ओपनिंग फॉर द wind and the air to go inside so this part is completely new the bumper is new the way the headlights come in it is also new so headlamps and the fog lamps they sit in this part this part also has a functional thing there is a proper air intake it's a air dam over here and the air goes in at uh, from this place comes out near the tires goes from the side of the alloy wheels the alloy wheel de design is new its form and function the new harrier cuts through air in a slightly better, better manner the air then goes to the side of the car so this is form and function for the new harrier the slim lights remain for the indicators and for the led drls and this thing is new you saw this with the next one for the first time when you come to your car when you unlock the car or you lock the car there is a proper welcome and by dance by the leds on this part on the side profile the alloy wheels i told you is new these are 18 inches not 19 that we see on the safari from here on the car is same as the earlier version you have the harrier branding over here the outside mirrors with the indicators so this part remains as such at the back like the front of the car the bumper is new and the design theme on the bumper is like the front headlights this is the vertical theme over here for the reflectors and for your uh, rear uh, light for the rear gear this part again is tweaked you have the full connected leds coming over here and the lights over here for your brake are new as well so tweaks are there in the design tweaks are there in the color options and over i think this seems to be a more funkier youthful new harrier for you guys the interiors also speak the same truth i'll show it to you now just like that new front end and new rear end of the harrier even the dashboard here is completely new to the layout there is a horizontal effect which basically makes the car look even wider visibility is too good the entire area the steering wheel the speedometer console and the screen is on a lower setting so even for short drivers visibility is good plus the seat it's powered it's ventilated this kind of steering wheel we first saw on the Tata Nexon that was a two spoke one this got more spokes but the designs seem similar plus of course the illuminated Tata Motors logo over here one more screen over here for the speedometer console so twin screen setup and one more sort of a screen i would call it it's basically a touch panel for lot of functions for the aircon for opening and closing the boot for car lock and lock and even for the 360 degree surround view camera it is a, a fingerprint magnet because india is a very dusty country but it does look very very cool moving on a good premium thing is the rotary dial for changing the terrain modes and you also have the drive modes of the sport and the eco on this side I am the manual one, so the six-speed manual gearbox and the key fob, which is right over here. In my opinion, uh, this could have been updated. Uh, the car now looks very upmarket, premium, sporty, and even the key fob could have been updated. In my opinion, uh, there's electric parking brake, so freezer space on this end, and then the small uh, glove box uh, armrest with the space over here. It is cooled as well. So overall, new features, new layout, and the funky appeal. this as you can make out is in the colors of the exterior body uh, it's also on the door pads on both the sides around the central area so this is where the funky appeal of the suv comes into the picture now one surprise package over here even the safari seats are powered but in the case of the safari the first row driver seat doesn't go as back and low as the harrier does right now i'm actually in a very comfortable manner but if you see the safari review the seat is slightly on the higher side by a couple of inches and that just makes me sit like this but in the harrier i'm sitting inside the car in a slightly more cocoon fashion the car cocooning me in luxury and comfort the second row space is same as the earlier harrier the boot space is same as the earlier harrier but the boot gets a hands free access so you come towards the boot with your key in the pocket you can swing your leg and the boot will open the same for closing the boot 
right then the important driving part of the Tata Harrier. Now first things first, two small issues. A, there is no proper dead pedal over here. I'm driving the manual version and uh, less space next to the clutch to rest my left foot. Secondly, uh, the earlier issue remains that your knee, left knee keeps on hitting this area which can be a bit of a concern on a daily basis or driving on a long trip. These two issues remain. However, other things are better. A, you have the EPS or the electric power steering out goes the hydraulic unit which basically has traditionally been a better thing for heavy SUVs but Tata wants the Harrier to be accessible to a wider set of audience and EPS makes your life slightly easier on that front. This is also different it becomes different with your driving mode. If you go into sport mode, the steering effort will change. The steering feedback will change. It's the first in segment. So you have steering modes which can be controlled through the drive modes. Of course, your traction uh, modes uh, remain. You have various options to choose from this toggle over here. If I turn this, I can go into wet mode. Then I have rough road. And then, of course, back to the city mode. So the these modes remain, the driving modes remain, and the driving modes will also control the steering modes. Next on, they say the max power and max torque is same, but the tuning is different. The, the drivability factor of the Harrier has improved marginally. What happens is different tuning ensures that the torque, the way the torque flows, is far better, which means in traffic conditions with the manual in which sometimes you have to downshift for to negate the turbo lag that has marginally improved. Don't get me wrong, uh, under 1500 RPM, you still miss out on any kind of poke coming in. But the moment you climb that, the torque is like a locomotive kind of flow, non-stop flow, till you start going into the higher RPM zone. So that is better. Next, NVS levels, noise, vibration, harshness level. This is a noisy engine, but Tata Motors has worked on the insulation part to ensure that the cabin remains sort of silent. So, your conversation with your co-passenger or people at the back is now easier. All these improvements are also there in the Safari. That is a different video which is on my channel. So do have a look on that video as well. So overall, it's slightly easier to live with the EPS. Your visibility is as good as ever. The engine is a tad smoother and the suspension. They have worked on suspension to make it slightly more comfortable. We have a two-year-old Safari uh, Harrier back home and trust me, the suspension over undulations broken tarmac potholes that one feels one generation older to this one this uh, this one is so much more better it's smooth it's compliant and the wheels 18 inch wheels on this one the lower versions have 17 inches 19 are reserved only for the safari now a slight experience in the entire driving experience has to be the clutch it is definitely on the heavier side and even the way it uh, engages the way it lifts from here is not very linear so in fact, in the morning, I stalled the car twice, so that is a bit of a bummer, but I guess I'm guessing after the first service or if you just show it to the workshop, this can be, this thing can be erased, it can be rectified. Now with this update, I was really hoping Tata Motors would offer us the turbo petrol engine as well. Unfortunately, that is not the case, so a bit of a disappointment on that front. But that aside, as an update, as a facelift, as a new version, it's a commendable job. It looks wow, the interiors are future ready, lot of features, extra added safety and of course the added levels of refinement and comfort into the picture. As of today, the pricing is not out so I can't comment on the value for money part but that aside, if you've always wanted to own the Harrier, this is the best time ever. As for its elder sibling, the Safari, that review is about to go live on my channel as well or has gone live. If you want the notification guys, super simple, do subscribe and hit the bell icon as well. Furthermore, next month I'm taking the new safari to a scenic location for an adventure escape. Stay tuned.